You know how whenever you make ice cubes, they never fit into bottles? Well, instead of using an ice cube tray, use an ice bar tray like this and your problem solved. Gadgets don't have to be expensive to change your life. So here are my top 13 absolute favorite cheap ones. Number 13, one of my favorite drinks ever is a frothy Starbucks mocha. And in my search to find a convenient way of recreating it, I came across the $5 handheld milk frother and it's everything I wanted it to be. You warm up your milk, you add whatever you want to add, and then just by holding this beneath the surface and turning it on, it mixes everything. And it froths it so much that it practically doubles the volume of liquid. Plus it comes with a stand to hold it off the counter. And then to clean it, you just hold it underwater for two seconds, turn it on, and done. Now, you might know that I'm partway through a fitness transformation right now. And one of the main ways I'm planning on achieving that is by running a lot. And so these $6 elastic laces, they've been an absolute game changer for me. You just thread them in instead of your normal laces once. And then from that point, you never have to tie your laces ever again. You just slip your shoes on and off and tighten using this toggle if needed. It takes a third of the time. They don't come undone. There's never a trip hazard. You can adjust tension on the fly. Plus, I think they just look cleaner too. For all of you who keep your soap on the sink surface like this, I think you'd be surprised how much difference a $2 soap bar drainer can make. Over the last few days, I've been using one bar of soap sitting on my counter and one sitting in this drainer. I've used them both an equal amount, but because the drainer gets rid of the excess water, that bar is much less squidgy and also looks like it's gonna last much longer. And now we're on the fascinating subject of soap. This $10 soap dispenser that I've only had for like a week or so has already become a central part of my life. So you stick it onto your bathroom wall, you fill it with a mixture of water and whatever soap or shower gel you want to use, and you're done. You don't have to touch it again for weeks. You just hold your hand under it and it's not just gonna drop liquid into it, it's actually gonna turn it into a foam, which lets you reach more dirt with less soap. <laughs> You're either gonna love or hate this sound. And like everything that I'm trying to show you in this video, it doesn't feel like a gimmick. The battery seems to be going strong, it charges via USB-C, it even lets you pick how bubbly you want it. Number nine, the 50 cent phone holder is surprisingly one of the cleanest ways to store your phone. It gives you a platform to rest it on, and then the neck of the holder is just a space to be able to wrap your cable around. Before, after, simple. I started doing a lot of traveling recently for various different collab videos. And one of the funniest hurdles that I keep finding myself bumping into is baggage limits. I often overpack in the first place, meaning that I go over the weight limit and I have to pay extra at the airport. But then even when I don't, if I buy anything significant while I'm away, then I'll definitely go over the limits on the way back. And that is where the digital luggage scale comes in. You know these are some good value gadgets when they literally come presented in a plastic bag. So you just wrap this strap around your luggage's handle, hook it back in place, and then lift. <laughs> and it'll tell me this thing is about 13 kilos. But then this is the cool bit. Because this thing is so tiny, I can throw it in with my luggage to be able to weigh everything again before I leave on the way back. If you are enjoying this video, then a sub to the channel would be hefty. Number seven, I've never seen a more versatile cable than this right here. So you buy as many or as few of these ends as you want and you fit them into your various devices. They could have a lightning port, they could have a USB-C port, they could have a micro USB port. There's ends for all of them. And once you've done that, this one cable is going to be able to charge them all. But that's not the cool bit. It's a 540 degree rotating head, which means that you can connect it at whatever angle you want to. It's magnetic, which makes the already trivial task of plugging in a cable even easier. And it's also one of the only magnetic cables that I've used that also supports up to 60 watts of power. So it can also work on some laptops. Right, so for number six, you know how vacuum cleaners are these big bulky tools that have absolutely no subtlety whatsoever? How they'll either not be able to fit into small places, or if they do, how they'll half the time suck up things that you actually wanted to keep. Well, the $2 Dust Daddy, yes, that is the real name, goes a long way to changing that. It adds these straws onto the end of your hose, which are not just there for extra reach, but also flexible, which allows you to bend around what you're trying to clean. The corners in your walls, the bottom layer of your mechanical keyboard, it can even do the inside of your drawers. And you know that so long as the contents aren't bigger than the entrances to these tiny straws, it won't pick them up. This next one pains me a little. As someone who really values audio quality, this is not an amazing sounding Bluetooth speaker. But here's the thing, right? I first found it on Amazon for $20. And for that, it's loud, it's waterproof, it's got eight hours of battery life, it's a well-liked product. So I traced it back. I managed to find the original product that the Amazon listing was based on 
for $5. And for that, it actually makes a lot of sense. It's just a cheap way to boost your phone's volume in the bathroom. I've tried it with music and you can still enjoy songs. And I've tried it on Netflix and you can still clearly hear what people are saying. And the other benefit is that you can use this to play, pause, skip your songs without needing to get out the shower to go grab your phone. Believe it or not, this thing right here is the most handy product I use throughout my entire university life. This is Dishmatic. And I get it, putting a washing up sponge on the end of a stick, it, it feels like caveman logic. But the result is truly wonderful. Because this stick, it's not just a handle that allows you to get a better angle and keep your hands away from the muck. It's also a reservoir to store your washing up liquid and release it bit by bit into that sponge. It's a very 21st century way of cleaning, but I got nothing against that. Right. Let's talk about suction cups. Because just $2 gets you a pack of four suction hooks. And I know they look simple, but they're actually hiding quite a powerful mechanism. Flicking the hook up unlocks the suction cup. So you do that, line it against a wall, and then fling it back down. Which creates a vacuum against the wall, making it very, very firm. Anything that you can fit on this hook, it will hold. This thing is so strong that I'm almost convinced if I get it on my forehead. All right, towel me. Never mind. <laughs> but in all seriousness, this hook has become an absolute staple of my life. Every time I use the shower, this is where I hang my stuff now. Number two is the tiniest gadget of them all. This is the InCharge Classic. I know it might look like one of those little USB sticks, but it's actually a charging cable. It unfolds to the magnificent length of four centimeters, which is still plenty. And it just means that so long as you can find yourself a standard size USB plug, or a laptop for that matter, you'll always be able to top up your phone. All right, I saved the best till last. This is the faucet glass cleaner. It requires a little bit more setup than some of the others. You have actually got to go into your sink and swap a couple of parts, but if you can do that, this is how fast I can wash my glasses. Are you ready? Three, two, one. It's basically done. So you might know that just a couple of weeks ago, I went to go and see Mr. Beast. And while I was with him, he strongly recommended that I watch this show called Death Note. It's free on Netflix, he said. So I searched and I searched and I searched. I was convinced that I was typing it wrong until I realized it's only available on the US version of Netflix. So by booting up Surfshark VPN, I was able to switch my location from the UK to the US and all of a sudden access the entire library of US Netflix shows, including Death Note, which I am now 30 episodes into. Surfshark costs literally $2.49 a month, which split between the seven people I share it with is just 36 cents. And if you hear the link in the description and use code BOSS, you'll get it not just for that $2.49 a month price, but also three extra months for free on top of that. Fully refundable if you don't like it.